Hi Aries, it's Power and Light here. I'm coming at you with the reading. Aries, this is going to be one of their true intentions and love. And today we're going to do a reading between you and your person. And Aries, I feel like you, I have a few oracle cards here. And I feel like this could be you, this king in the bed. Yeah, you guys are the king, right? Mars, right? The planet of Mars, uh, the magician, and right, and the warrior. All these like really great things. The emperor. But I feel like you are not like trusting your insights. Like you're not trusting, you're not trusting in yourself or whoever I am reading for. And the king is here, and he's laying in bed, and you know he has the cross above him, and uh, he has a beautiful room here. He looks like he's uh, sleeping in like he's sleeping in a castle, but it kind of looks like you know, a little bit like a church here. He's a religious king, right on. Okay, uh, he's a good king. Yeah, he's not one of these tyrants, right? But he's sick, and he's laying in bed here. It's about somebody who is, like, kind of ailing, but it's, I feel like they can get themselves out of it. Yeah, let's have a look at that king here. Here he is, and he has all his medicine next to his bed, and he's not even, like, he's not really sick. Like, he's sick from his feelings or love or not going after what is really important to him, something like that. Like, you know, he's not, like, trusting in courage or... <coughs> that life could get better. Let's see what it says about him. And he is the ailing king. Maybe he's really sick. The patient, but I don't think so. The joylessness of everyday life, you see? Yeah, unless you're sick. I'm sorry if you're if you're sick, right? Uh exhaustion, fleeing to fleeing, fleeing to illness. <coughs> it's like you could be so unhappy in your life that you are like like fleeing you think you're gonna find refuge in like maybe depression or refuge in maybe feeling sick like well <coughs> which to me is you know kind of mind-boggling but let's see maybe this is the person you're dealing with though right could be you flee into a state uh, which could be misinterpreted by illness yeah see yeah you're making yourself sick or your person is by by being sad kind of your ego rejects life because no one rolls out the red carpet, but you refuse contact and retreat back to bed even before your royal toes can touch the pavement of reality. And the way through the problem, this hails the arrival of everyday life for your ego. You have, you have days, your days have the same gray and colorless tone. You go through a phase which demands resilience and adjustment. The theme here is the long run. It's like, it's, it could be, maybe you are like kind of lacking patience in, in some type of a situation. But for me, you are accepting something as kind of unhappy and you could be kind of like, uh, this could be a person, right? Because God, this sounds like, you know, uh, sounds sad. But we have something really good here. We have these wedding rings right here. This is the Ace of Diamonds, right? This is about two people who like really, really want to be together. Yeah, it is. It's a, a beautiful card. And... We also have this card of Fortuna, but this person, it's really interesting about Fortuna because uh, Fortuna is somebody, uh, this man here in this deck, it's, Fortuna is kind of different in uh, many decks, it is. But in this deck here, uh, this man is, he's being showered with all these stars, kind of, which is kind of insight and light. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, before he can get there, he is like, kind of living in a world where he's not trusting his intuition. Yeah, it says luck. See, this is good luck. Luck, uh, spiritual depth, tolerance, reaching for the stars, seeking admiration, optimism, inner healing. But it says here, this is how you can get there, but it's kind of like you, with next to the ailing king, you are somebody who, or your person is somebody who's, you suffer from a serious lack of trust deep within you. You have lost your hope. And don't trust your own insights anymore. Yeah, this king is kind of ailing. Like, it's like you're, you, you or your person is sad, and this is making you, like, putting you in this world here, or this kind of energy where you're not, now you're no longer trusting your insights. You're letting kind of depression take over, or a loss of hope, maybe. I don't know if this is major depression, but it's some type of a lack, uh, like loss of hope, right? Uh, but I feel like you want this over here, this, these wedding rings with somebody. You do, yeah. And so this Fortuna card talks about you've lost, 
your 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 ego no longer heeds the inner healer. Yeah, the bridge to a religio. I think it's release has been destroyed. Uh, a religio. I think it means relief. Yeah, and I think it means relief. Yeah, your bridge, the bridge to relief has been destroyed. The process could lead to mega uh, megalomania, which is kind of like some kind of craziness, right? Mania. We know that, right? Like when somebody's a maniac. We don't want that to happen to you, Aries. I feel like these cards are being a little dramatic, but. I feel like for me, you look like you're staying in some type of a situation that's kind of bringing you down. I mean, like to say it in, you know, kind of uh, a way that is uh, kind of really, you know, just uh, cut to the chase. We have uh, also the cedar chest here, but uh, not the cedar, the cedar branch, but it is reversed, and that's not really good. Is it reversed or is it in the up? Or is let's see here. That's actually in the upright. I feel like it is. It's really interesting how they have that like that. Yeah, because it's a six of clubs, so four clubs are in the upright. Okay, so I feel like that is better here. This is six. Let's look at the six of uh, clubs. Let's have a look at it. Uh, this is the cedar branch, and the cedar is uh, really kind of uh, revered or, you know, uh, kind of maybe even honored uh, in uh, the Appalachian Mountains, the cedar, mm -hmm. which is a type of wood, right? It's a tree. Let's see, we have the six of clubs. Where are the clubs? Right, they're at the end, of course. Okay, let's see what it says here. It says, uh, and this is in the upright, as the cedar litters the forest up the mountains. It doesn't mean litter, it means just like, not litter the way we know it, like don't throw your Coke can in the street, yeah. Uh, as, the cedar, as the cedar litters the forest up the mountain, the six of clubs speaks of a long journey on land. Okay, it's a trip. To dream of a cedar tree predicts success in business or whatever undertaking, or whatever, whatever undertaking undertaking you are going through. I feel like you are, uh, you could be on a mental journey. Maybe you're going to see somebody far away. But you have this Ace of Diamonds here, and this is what you want. I feel like you are dreaming over here. This, this, this king is in bed. He was, he was like reading this book. It's probably the Bible. And <clears throat> he is like dreaming now. I feel like he is dreaming. He's, he's, he's asleep. Uh, and he could be sick because he's the ailing king. But you're like, you are like not trusting your insights here, right? At the same time, you are kind of like dreaming of something else. You have to like start to trust your insights and keep dreaming and like, and, and leave. I feel like you're in some type of unhappy situation, Aries. Yeah, I feel like a rescue is in order here, all right? And I'm not, I'm Sagittarius. We're not really a rescuer. We are protectors though. Yeah, I don't, rescue, yeah, maybe. But definitely we are protectors. Yeah, we are, and that's why some, I feel like some people kind of cling to me sometimes because they think that I can, you know, stand up for them if they can't stand up for themselves. Yeah, mm-hmm. Let's see what we have. Let's look at the Ace of Diamonds, which is really uh, the wedding rings. It's really beautiful, this card. Uh, where the hell is it? Right in here. Mm-hmm. Let's see what we have. And this is definitely in the upright, yeah. And a happy card, the Ace of Diamonds, means marriage when paired with the Two or the Ten of Hearts. Okay, so we don't have that here, but, you know. Otherwise, the Golden Rings tell of a change in luck and good news. Yeah. So, you know, I feel like you have some type of a trip. It could be a mental journey, but you have good luck here. And over here, this Fortuna card, you know, these cards talk about getting through the problem. In other words, you're not trusting your insight, I feel like, because you're sad. I feel like you, <clears throat> you, you might be a little depressed here, or this is your person. <clears throat> but for me, you feel stuck in something. That is really clear, right? <clears throat> you feel stuck in a situation, and you want to get the hell out of Dodge, but I feel like you are kind of just dreaming of it. Maybe you are going to, maybe you're going to take this journey to have this because of the cedar branch. Yeah, you could talk about a journey. But I feel like it's a mental journey here, but it <clears throat> could be both, right? <clears throat> People are traveling this time of the year. It's Christmas <clears throat> in the United States. Well, I feel like it's Christmas in many parts of the world, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And don't forget, it is to celebrate Christ's birthday. Yeah, people give their kids all kind of presents, and they don't, the kids don't know it really what Christmas is. I'm like, what? Yeah. So let's see what we have, you guys. <clears throat> Excuse me, you guys. We have the Three of Pentacles. You have the King of Swords. In the challenge, Aries, is the Two of Swords for you. So here you are at a stalemate. 
or I feel powerless or I don't know what to do. That's really what that card is about. Any of those or all of them <clears throat> could be about a decision. Can't make a decision. Uh, the tower is your fear. Your person is questioning if you want to leave them. That's what they're doing down here. Here they are with the Queen of Swords and the Ten of Swords right next to it. This person is questioning this. Excuse me, guys, with my heavy breathing, right? This person is questioning this. They're in fear of the Empress. You're in an unhappy situation with somebody and you haven't left, Aries. Que paso? <laughs> Maybe you have kids with somebody and you have to stick around. You feel like you could. I mean, that's... <clears throat> that is somebody's sole decision, right? We're not, I'm not here as a tarot reader. To, of course, not telling you to leave anybody. <clears throat> People ask me in the comments, what do I do? I'm like, <clears throat> it's not a private reading, right? I can't. Even in a private reading. <clears throat> sometimes we have to be, you know, a little bit, like, discreet, kind of. But, you know, here, your person is definitely questioning if you want to go. You're like, oh, yeah, I do. I definitely want to go. <laughs> if you ask me, I might tell you the damn truth, right? But for some reason, you still like you're, you look like you're kind of sitting there. Maybe you're making the decision right now, King of Swords. Because that's what the King of Swords does, and that is not you, unless you're dealing with uh, an air sign. There's a lot of, like, uh, you're in your thoughts, they're in their thoughts. You have the Two of Swords in the challenge. I feel like you're going to leave somebody. I feel like this is probably <clears throat> this is probably you with the Fortuna card. Like, you've lost your insights, you're not trusting your insights, you're not trusting really what your soul is telling you, which is, you know, which is what you're supposed to do. You can call it whatever you want. Trusting your gut, uh, intuition, uh, you know, a uh, higher consciousness. Little kids just do it. They don't have a word. Yeah, they just do it. They just say whatever. Because they're not indoctrinated in the school yet. They're not told not to trust themselves, trust what they feel, Right? Yeah, the school is all about, you know, they've taken away the arts and the uh, the music so they can, you know, uh, mislead you or lead you astray from your intuition, right? Music has a lot to do with intuition. Yes, it does. <clears throat> and so does art. Plus, they don't want you to be who you really are because, you know, they don't want you to be happy. No, they don't. If you guys think that, then, you know. <laughs> but you know the getting back to this here you're not trusting your intuition Aries you're not and so this could be somebody though not you this could be somebody ailing in bed here like the king I mean that could be you but it could be somebody else and you're not like this person here who thinks that you're going to end it with them who thinks that you're really going to kind of betray them I believe I don't if, you know ten of swords can be betrayal it can sometimes it can't Next to the Empress especially, right? So that could be you ailing because you're not trusting your intuition. You want this with somebody, this Ace of Diamonds. You want, you want to marry somebody here. Yeah, you do. Or you really love somebody here, but you're not doing it. All right? Mm -hmm. So let's see, you have the Three of Pentacles and the King of Swords. Here you are trying to make a decision of, to be single, right here. You see that? You want to marry somebody else. Unless you're in this, you know, the ailing king, you could be in a shitty marriage. You could, right? And the Two of Swords is here in the challenge. Wow, King of Cups. Maybe you're with a Piscean. Maybe you want to be with a Piscean, a Cancerian, or Scorpio, Right? Let's get another card on your challenge. Page of Swords reversed. <clears throat> I feel like you, you probably already came to a conclusion that you want to go, but you're just sticking around. That's kind of how it looks here. Page of Swords reversed, Two of Swords. And this is somebody else's energy right here, this person, in your challenge, for sure. Let's get one more card on, on Aries' challenge. 
we have the Queen of Pentacles. So I'm not sure if that's who you want to be with or who you want to leave, right? Maybe you are with... We already have many potential folks here. We don't have that many cards. We have the Queen of Cups. Aries, you are not, right? You're the Queen of uh, Wands. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles here. This could be an Earth sign. And then, of course, in the challenge for your person is this Queen of Swords, who could be Virgo, I mean Aries, I mean Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. <clears throat> we get one more card on your challenge. This is interesting. Three of Cups. See, you want to return to somebody here. Yep. You want to be single right here. Nine of Pentacles. That's what your decision is about. I just think that you, it looks like you've been thinking about this like for a while. This doesn't look like any, it doesn't look new to me. I don't, it doesn't look new. I feel like you, like you need your in, you need your intuition here and your insight. And you know you need it, but you're still not like trusting it. Yeah, I mean, that's bad, right? That's like saying, you know. Uh, I need my car to leave this hell that I'm in, or I feel threatened here, I'm at this event, and I feel really threatened, and my car's in front, right? I need my car to leave, but you're not going to get in the car and go. I mean, it's really like... Yeah, it's, let's see, we have the Five of Cups and the Ten of Wands. This is what you want. This is burdening you. You want an ending, but it's burdening you. These are both endings in your desire. You want this ending, but it's burdening you. You think you're going to leave somebody depressed, like this ailing king. I feel like that's it. You have some kind of guilt here about somebody here. Well, I mean, you can either live your life for you, or you can live your life for somebody else. The Tower card is your fear with the King of Pentacles reversed. Okay, we already have the Queen here in the challenge. Maybe your person is Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. The Tower. You're fearing the Tower here. I mean, that could be many, many things here. I just feel like you're afraid to end this because it's, it's, it's going to really burden somebody big time. Well, I feel like it's with their mental health. This King is not sick because, you know... Uh, he got a cold, or he got some, you know, he got something that's, you know, he's not. <laughs> I was going to bring something up, but I won't. But he's not, he's not sick from anything physical. He's sick from his mental ailment. You're afraid somebody's going to kind of like lose it here. Or they're going to become unstable. Let's look at uh, the Six of Wands reversed. And this is showing up with the Sun card. So this Six of Wands, this is your person. I feel like they have clarity that, you know, that, like, they're not going to win with you in the end. They know, I'm pretty sure, yeah, here they are, Queen of Swords, Ten of Swords, that you're making a decision to, like, end this. And they know about this Empress that you want. So not only are you in a shitty place, but you want somebody else. It's both. This reminds me of Aquarius is reading a little bit. Yeah. <clears throat> you're, so you're in something unhappy, and at the same time, uh, you want somebody else. I mean, there's two reasons to go. One is this is, like, awful for me, and over here it's going to be just so wonderful. So why stay? You must, I feel like you have this Five of Cups is, like, uh, over here for you is major guilt. It can be talk, it can talk about regret. Regret can be guilt. Yeah, whoever says that is, whoever disagrees with that, you know. I mean, not all uh, regret is guilt. No, it's not a, it's not a one, one definition word. No, hell no, it's not. So here they are with the two of wands. They are at a crossroads here. The devil. Yeah, you see? So this could be about a Capricorn because we have the king and the queen of pentacles, right? But this person, for me, is just in fear and at a crossroads here because they have clarity here that they don't think they're going to win in the end, that you're going to leave, something like that. Like, Or they think that you want victory with somebody else, 
and this is what's going to happen. Like the Six of Wands is going to be, you know, your victory. And the Queen of Swords here, there could be a Leo here with the King of Wands. This is you uh, in the challenge for them. Yeah. And here they are uh, questioning whether or not you're going to end it with them. Three of Swords right here. So clear in this reading, Aries. Thank you so much. All right. Yeah. For being simple here. Although you're being complicated with yourself. <laughs> your person's energy is like, very simple here. They think that you want somebody else here, and you do. OMG. So why are you there? Do you have like you guys got a whole bunch of children or something? Or are you being stuck in another country? Uh, or what's the problem here, right? And if you're local, it's time to get up and go. If you have to get on a bus, Aries, just get on the bus and go, all right? <laughs> I'm so bad. Let's see, we have the Ten of Swords, you guys. And we have the Three of Wands. Because I care about this a little bit, right? I see, like... It's almost like there's an injustice here because you look like you're staying in something that's really unhappy. It, I feel like you're being unfair to this person too because there's somebody else you want and you don't really want to be here. So why, why, why continue to play the part? That doesn't make any sense to me, right? Especially me as a Sag. I'm just, I'm just, it's like, it has to be like, like real or it's like not doable for me. It's like, it's, I can't, yeah, I can't. I hate hiding the truth. That's why I hate about what's going on right now. They are like hiding the truth about everything. So we can't even talk. We can't talk about that. I mean, this is, you know, this is a tarot reading anyway. But I'm just saying, I am all about the truth. The real truth and nothing but the truth. Yeah. There's a little, little of it every day. Yeah. In fact, there's hardly any of it. Yeah. So let's look at what this person wants. I don't feel like they want this. Remember, we had the Queen of Swords with the Ten of Swords. They are discerning whether or not you're going to, like, put ten swords in them, right? <clears throat> but Aries, I feel like you already did this. You put, like, ten swords, like, not physically, you know, you didn't. You didn't put ten swords physically. But you, like, you put the swords in them, like, just, you just did it. Because they know you don't want to be around. I would ask you to go. If I was this person on the bottom here, I would say, you need to go. You don't really want to be with me. You're with This person knows. I don't know how they know, but they know. Maybe they are this king of cups in your challenge. Super intuitive. We know uh, water signs are super intuitive if they so let it be. I have a Cancerian son who, you know, who is, I don't mean my son, but my own son. Like, you know, my male child who is in denial and it just it gets on my nerves because he's not living the truth he wants to remain in denial and he knows that I know that and he knows that I have I like I kind of feel ostracized by it and he, he feels like I'm like kind of pushing him away like I can't stand there and, and watch you like with your all your intuition that you have uh, deny what's kind of really what's going on yeah I can't stand there and like you know Sit here and watch you lie to yourself, basically. So if I was this person, <laughs> I would be telling you to leave, right? And it would be better for this person because they're living in some type of hangman mode where they feel like you're kind of hanging them out to dry and it's going to be a matter of time, something like that. So here we have, they are wondering if you're going to end it. Uh, the Three of Wands is here now. Here's the Three of Swords. Here's the Three of Cups. Yeah, clearly there's somebody else. It is this Empress. I don't know if you're with the Empress, though, Aries. I don't think you are. I think you are, like, ignoring this person that you really want to be with. Yeah. You're ignoring, like, you're not going to that person. And that person could be thinking all about you somewhere. I don't know where at. Uh, I don't know, right? Mm-hmm. So yeah, you could be married to them with the Ten of Cups, and these are there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, endings here. We have the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Wands, completions, and the Ten of Swords. Here's their fear: the Empress and the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, this person is just afraid you're holding on to somebody here. So this reading doesn't, you know. I usually have, I haven't been doing the extendeds, uh, not as much, you guys, for, you know, for various reasons, but uh, Capricorn Sagittarius has an extended uh, all the time because people watch them, right? I mean, I can't, 
I'm not going to work in vain. Nobody wants to do that. I don't want anybody else to do that either. But in this reading, it's, it's reading the energy that's going on here, right? We don't have an outcome, a prediction. I do, uh, but, you know, this is what this reading is. This is, uh, we have done the whole reading, you know, we have. But I feel like you will eventually not hold on to this any longer. This is hurting you. And if you are not this ailing king who is like kind of, you know, depressed uh, because you're not living a, a, your true life or your true dreams, uh, then you are this other person. This is Fortuna, and here are all the stars coming down. But that is like at the end of the road. Like that, that is a, it's a good luck card. I mean, it's a good card, but for now, at the beginning of this journey here that you have not embarked on, it is about somebody who blocks out their intuition. And that's what's going on in this reading. All right. Thank you so much. Your person has, they have, they know what's going on. I don't know how they know. <laughs> they have their intuition. They do. We're going to end this reading. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here. Yeah, no need to say, hey, I agree with you about what you said about this other thing. Please don't do that, you guys, because uh, that is also, uh, like, we are not able to. That's another thing, right? Yeah. Thank you so much. God bless you guys for sure. Yeah. Merry Christmas to anybody, uh, you know, who is celebrating that. Uh, how far away is Christmas? I feel like it's, uh, I don't know, 20 days? Uh, less than 20 days. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.